Now, Hamilton had one weakness. You're looking at one member of it. Uh, in fact, in winter camp, between campaigns, Martha Washington would run dances for the officers and the daughters uh, and the sisters of the officers. Uh, and he noticed that Hamilton, she noticed that Hamilton got around quite a lot. She also spotted a tomcat and she named it Hamilton, <laughs> which gives you some idea of his reputation uh, at that point. Um, he aimed high always, unfortunately, um, and he decided he wanted to marry a woman with wealth and position. So he actually courted the daughter, uh, Eliza Schuyler, of the number two general uh, in the American army. And here she is, and she would remain devoted to him uh, for the rest of his life and 50 years after that. Slide, please. Uh, here is uh, her sister, Angelica Schuyler Church, with her baby and a maid. Uh, as the story goes on, we'll see that Hamilton was sometimes out of control when it came to women. So he was, we will say, in the interest of time, extremely close to his sister-in-law. In fact, I think they were very much in love until she finally gave him the, the push off, uh, brush off, uh, after a scandalous affair that he had with another woman. But Hamilton became part of the official family of the second most powerful uh, general in the army, Schuyler of, of Albany. Slide, please. Part of Hamilton's job uh, was to be in charge of the lifeguards that Washington had. He had 100 special troops, like our Secret Service, who were assigned to him. And when something happened uh, that the lifeguards were called into service, Hamilton was called into service too. And it happened in September of 1780 that this gentleman, um, Benedict Arnold, I spent five years of my life with him too, um, committed treason, um, managed to plot to turn over Washington, Lafayette, British, I mean French and American generals, etc., and West Point to the British. The British were a little slow coming up the Hudson. The plot collapsed. Uh, Arnold fled, and um, Hamilton was sent with his lifeguards down the Hudson River to catch him. And he failed on that mission. But what I think is very even more interesting about that moment. He was completely fooled by Benedict Arnold's wife, who stayed behind at the headquarters across from West Point and put on a mad scene that completely fooled Hamilton. And Hamilton persuaded Washington that she was, she had gone out of her mind when she found out about Arnold's treason. She had not gone out of her mind. She was an excellent actress. She would wind up getting the highest pension of any spy uh, from the Queen of England when the revolution was over. But she could fool Hamilton, and that seemed to be something that women knew how to do. 